Hey guys, it's Coach K again here, just missing all of you and missing everybody being in my room with me. So empty and so boring with nobody here. Um, but I just wanted to make a quick video to send all of you guys to kind of give you some activities that you can do at home. So something that we've been learning in class the last few weeks is about hand-eye coordination. Now, remember a while back we practiced tossing and catching with the ball. We did some cool tricks with our ball. Um, a few weeks ago, we practiced bowling. We practiced aiming towards our target and bowling. Um, before that, we practiced aiming towards a target um, when you were throwing. Today, we're going to go back over tossing and catching again, but we're going to use smaller equipment. And when you use smaller, um, a smaller ball and a smaller target, it makes it a little bit more difficult um, and more challenging for you to do it. So that is what we're going to try out today. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use because I have my equipment closet here. I can find this stuff. Now I know that you guys don't have equipment closets like I do, um, but I'm going to use this scoop looking thing and a wiffle ball. Okay. Does everybody see how this ball fits in my hand? It's not very big. Okay. Not very big at all. It fits right in my scoop. If you do not have these things at home, here is what you can use. You can find a cup from the kitchen. Now listen to me. Y'all know one thing we always say during class, ask your grown-ups first before you go running through the house looking for stuff to use in PE. Okay, I don't want somebody calling me mad because you broke the best glass cup that your mama or your grandmama has. So, Please make sure you ask your grown-ups for permission and for their help um, when you're looking for these things today, okay? So we need a plastic cup or a styrofoam cup, just any cup that won't break, okay? Um, and a small ball. Remember I said a ball that fits in the palm of your hand. If you don't have a small ball, um, in the past I told you to use a bigger ball, but today you kind of need something small. So let's go back to our socks that we've used before. Um, a pair of socks that you can get. These are the ones I had on my feet because I forgot to bring an extra pair and they stink. Um, so just get your socks, fold them together like this, and you have a ball. Okay? So if you don't have my equipment, you can get a cup and a pair of socks, and it works just fine. All right? I'm going to show you what we're doing with my equipment first, and then I'll show you with the cup. Okay? So... <laughs> we are going to practice, once again, keeping our eye on the ball, okay? We want to watch the balls once we toss it so we know where it's going. We know where we have to go to catch it, okay? Now, remember what we said when we're practicing by ourselves. You don't have to throw it way up high, okay? Just an easy toss up in the air. doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't even have to be very high. If you want to start low like this and work your way up to it, you can, okay? But just one easy toss, watch your ball, make sure you know where it's going and you need to move to where your ball is going, okay? Uh-oh, I missed it. You need to take a step and move wherever your ball is going so you can catch, okay? Um, we're going to go up high, okay? We're going to put our scoop or our cup way up high in the air because if we want to catch up high and practice catching up high, then we need to have our um, target up high, right? So I'm going to toss, oh, and I'm going to catch up high, okay? Once again, my target is up high. I'm going to catch just like that, okay? Hold your target up above your head so you can catch up here, okay? One more time. There we go. So if we can catch up high, we can catch down low. Ready? So when we catch down low, Make sure that you bend your knees. Don't bend down like this because you might hurt yourself. All right? Bend your knees and make it easier for you, okay? So I'm going to hold my target down low, just like this, okay? Hold my target down low. I'm going to toss, bend my knees, and catch. Let me back up a little bit. I'm going to toss, bend my knees, and catch. Now I'm going to watch my ball when I toss it up. So I know where it's going. So I can catch it. Obviously didn't watch it that time. Okay. So I have a question for you. 
If anybody can email me the right answer, I just might have a few extra points for you. Okay? Think real hard. Think real, real hard. What sport does this remind you of? What sport do you have to use something to catch a ball? I'm gonna let you think on it. I'm gonna show you a few more times. And I'm gonna let you think on it. What sport do we play where you have to catch a ball with something other than your hand? All right, if you can think of it, I'll be glad to hear your answers here in class. Guys, <coughs> excuse me. Um, just remember to always ask your grown-ups permission before you go scouring the house to find equipment to use. Um, <coughs> remember, our focus today is on hand-eye coordination, so make sure you watch that ball and you move to it, okay? All right, y'all, until next time, I will see you later with a different lesson with some more fun and games. Don't forget to check the Family Fun Activities folder in your Google Classroom because it has all kinds of um, games and activities that you can do at home with your families, okay? So y'all have a great afternoon, have a great week, and I will see you all next time. Bye.